Breaking news, Nigerians. A powerful Supreme Court justice has been confirmed dead few days to the tribunal's final judgment. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. My country people, Nigeria is mourning the death of Justice Chima. Sentus Mwazi, a Supreme Court judge who was involved in some of the most controversial and landmark cases in the country's history. Justice Chima Wanze passed away on Sunday at the age of 64, just days before the final address at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, where he was expected to be among the judges who would hear the appeals from the parties involved. Now, the Supreme Court has not officially confirmed his death at the time of filing this report, but sources close to him said he died after a brief illness. And Justice Mwazi, a native of Obolo, Ndunu, local government area of Enugu State, was born on September 25th, 1958. He was appointed by to the Senate, I beg your pardon, he was appointed to the Supreme Court in 2014 by the former President Gulag Jonathan following the recommendation of the National Judicial Council. He was the only Supreme Court judge from the Southeast Geopolitical Zone of Nigeria, a region that has been clamoring for more representation and inclusion in the nation's affairs. And Justice Mwazi, Mwazi was known for his dissenting options, his independent judgment in some of the most contentious cases that came before the apex court. In 2020, he delivered a dissenting judgment that declared Emeka Ihadoha of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as the winner of the 2019 governorship election in Imo State, contrary to the, de to the majority decision that upheld Hope Uzadima of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the validly elected governor in the state. He also delivered the split judgment of three against two that affirmed Ahmed Lawan, the then Senate president, as the authentic candidate of the APC for Yobe North Senatorial District for the 25th February general election, despite allegations of forgery and substitution of his name by some party members. And now, Justice Chima Wanze death has raised concerns about the fate and the outcome of the presidential election petition tribunal, which is preparing to deliver its judgment on three petitions seeking to nullify President Bola Tinibu's election. The Justice Haruna Tasimini-led panel has called on all, par all parties to adopt their final argument before it delivers its verdict. So my country people, Justice Mwanze, the Southeast judge who opposed colleagues over uh, Uzodima's election is dead. Yes, sources has confirmed that he died on Sunday evening at the age of 64. He was said to be very, very ill, but was discharged from the hospital some days ago. And Justice Chima was the fifth most senior justice of the Supreme Court with his death, the number of the apex court justice has further reduced to 12. Now, he was born on September 25, 1958. He backed all his degrees from the bachelor's to the PhD from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, UNA. He attended the St. John Cross Semi uh, Seminary, Nsuka, between the 1972 and 1977. Justice Chima was called to bar in 1984 and completed his National Youth Service Corps, the NYSC program, in Bauchi in 1985. 
He became a judge of Enugu State High Court. In 1995, he served as the chairman of Ogun State Governorship and Legislative House Election Petition Tribunal. In 1999, the chairman, Robbery Firearms Tribunal Nsuka, 1998. And in 1999, a member of the Ondo State Local Government Election Partition Tribunal in 1999. And then on February 15, 2008, he was elevated to the Court of Appeal, where he served until October 2014, when he was elevated to the Supreme Court of Nigeria on October 29, 2014. So my country people, in January 2020, uh, Justice Chima had opposed his colleagues who affirmed Hopu Zodima as the duly elected governor of Imo State. And his dissenting judgment, Mweze, Mweze had asked the court to set aside the, the January 14th ruling that removed a maker in Hadoha from office, describing it as null, uh, nullity and in bad faith. He also nullified the declaration of Uzodima as governor on the account of wrong declaration and held that Uzodima misled the court with an unjust conclusion with the unverified vote in 388 polling units. Now, the decision of the Supreme Court will continue to haunt our el electoral uh, desperate for a long time to come, he said. And... Chima Mweze was part of the Supreme Court panel that refused Atiku Abubakar's request to inspect service of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, at the time when Atiku was challenging the declaration of Mohamed Buhari as the winner of the 2019 presidential election. So my country people, this is just like a brief summary of um, Justice Chima Mweze. Who died on Sunday. Now, my country people, what will be the fate of the petitioners? Now that a justice has been confirmed dead, what would be the fate of the presidential election petition tribunal? How would this case be? Because currently, the case is awaiting judgment. And now, with the death of Justice Mweze, Mweze it has left a vacuum in the Supreme Court branch, uh, branch and may affect the composure and balance of opinions among the justices who will hear any appeals from the presidential election petition tribunal, although it is not clear if his replacement will be appointed before or after the tribunal's judgment or if his absence will have any impact on the final outcome of the presidential election petition dispute. So guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Can you share your thoughts in the comment section? Thank you. Bye for now.